Well, the top 10 blogs of 2022 is here. Drum roll, please. So in tradition, I will list my top 10 blogs in no particular order, a little insight on each. And of course, all the info and feel free to read the blogs. Please read the blogs if you'd like to learn something or make fun of me, it doesn't matter. But love for you to read them and give your insight and share with others if you find it valuable. All right, top 10 blogs, what are they? One, you are not that important. Great reminder, great level set for us. We work hard. Sometimes we don't play as hard as we think. Our priorities aren't always in order. And I think it's important to remember you aren't that important. Blog two, what's your number? Most most likely and, and frequent question I get is how much money do I need to retire? Well, it's a nuanced, very convoluted question, of course. But there is a simple way to at least get pretty darn close. And I read that blog. You can learn in about 60 seconds. Mac and cheese. How do past experiences affect your current decisions, especially with finances? I still can't eat mac and cheese to this day. Thanks, Dan Krantz. When I ate at your house when I was probably seven years old and threw up mac and cheese everywhere. And to this day, it affects my decisions. What's affecting your financial decisions? Next, the great change. Number four was the great change. Love this one. It, probably the biggest insight I got from this year is it was a year change across the board. I haven't seen as much drastic change in people's lives as I, as I had in this calendar year. Were you one of them? Give a read. Next, the reverse budget. You terrible at budgeting, but you know you need to do some sort. Maybe you're not a super detailed person and it drains you. Try the reverse budget. Probably the thing I heard most from people is, hey, I love that reverse budget blog. I teach it to all my clients when relevant and teaching it to you here now. So give a read if you like. Next, investment strategy. Did you go through this year and just wing it? You just throwing in some sort of target date fund? Successful investment philosophy revolves around having one and having an investment strategy. Learn about ours, learn about the tricks and tips you need to figure out what yours is and hopefully it helps midterm and markets i know you think the markets totally matter with the what happens in capitol hill and elections and who's running what sadly it doesn't matter as much as we think that said there are trends and misnomers that i like to point out in this lovely blog next Number eight, bear market lessons. Boy, did we have one this year. Wasn't fun. Seemed to be never ending. Still going on. Although I do believe there is an end in sight. That said, what can we learn? What can we learn from any instance that we're going through? Here's the bear market lessons from this year. That's blog eight. Blog nine, elevate and delegate. I do it with basically anyone I talk to at work. Do it personally. Do it with friends and family and elevate and delegate and delegate is a great exercise I can't take credit for it but it's a great exercise that's really helped propel me in my career and I've seen it help many others in theirs both professionally personally give it a try it'll really help get things in line and prioritize and last but not least you freaking made it that's right what a year what a year. Kicked us while we were down. We had runaway inflation, interest rates going to the moon, the markets getting crushed on basically every sector imaginable. But you made it. And what does the future have in store? That's the key. So those are the top 10 blogs of the year. Hopefully you've read them all. If not, go read them now with this lovely time off. Appreciate you all. Thank you for watching. Thank you for reading. And thank you for being awesome. As always, stay wealthy, healthy, and happy. I'm Andrew Rosen, president of Diversified. Happy New Year.